Abhimanyu, <laughs> what we are going to see right now is one of the best games or the best game that you have played until now? Yes. Why would you say this is the best game? I mean, this was the game I calculate. like, I think this is the most I've ever calculated and everything appeared on the board. Like, I I calculated like 15 moves ahead and everything appeared on the board. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Let's let look at it. So, so take us through the game. So this was a this was slab defense and I have three and I have six queen v three. This is one of the one of the sidelines that I can play queen takes e four. So your opponent, by the way, uh, Shahil is uh, India's latest IEM. He he's yeah. very talented and first uh, you know in India the, uh, he's the first IEM from Northeast India. So he's very talented, very strong player. Yes, I've played against him before and then before I I've, I've lost to him and I've drawn him from winning position was, I've had past experience is not so great. Right. So Bishop F5, G3, G3, E6, all standard. This is Bishop yeah. E7, castles, castles. And I BD2 is a new move, which I've prepared. Mm. Okay. So, so Knight BD2 was played here. Um, Knight BD7, Queen B3, Queen B6. Queen B6, Knight C4. Yeah, I know that uh, here taking yeah. is not such a great idea because then the rook opens up, right? Yeah, and, and one of White's ideas here is knight a5, and it's very unpleasant to me. Yes, and then... Because you, if rook v8, I have bishop 4. Right. So you can't do that. So he went uh, queen a6, which is also well known. Bishop and now, now this idea of bishop 4 is generally in these kind of positions, White plays bishop d2. With the idea of like rook fc1 and bishop b4. Yeah. But I mean, since he has this knight on d7, this d6 square is a little bit weak. So I decided to go and uh, play, play, place bishop d6. Was this your uh, preparation or over the Yeah, board? around here is where my preparation ended. And I thought, yeah, well, it was over the time. Okay, 95, you went in here. Bishop d6, and now rook bishop b4. And... Like this. You took. I think this is the first new move of the game. Uh, 97, 96. Now attacking the b7 pawn. So he went bishop d5, attacking the queen. Okay. And and you cannot take here, can you? Yeah, you can just take b7 and go rook v8. And then this is hanging. And this b2 pawn is hanging, and okay. Even though the c6 pawn is a weakness, I mean, it's. Rook coming on b2, e2 is hanging in a2, so it's a 4. Right. Okay. So you went back, queen c2. And your idea now can be to just trap this bishop with e4. Yes. So he played knight c8. Okay, interesting move. And did your calculation start at this point? No, it, it happened later. I mean, this. Okay, okay. I'm just excited because I thought. Yeah. Uh, you can take, take and play e4, but he can four, go but bishop, bishop c4. Four. And the point is here, rook fc1, there's bishop d3. Yeah, and he's... Oh, now he's dying. Okay. Oh, one second. Uh, no, no, I, I take and don't. E4, uh, first take, take, e4, bishop c4, rook c1. Rook fc1, and... bishop d3, and there's e4, I lose the c4 pawn, so... Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, so here you played a very nice move, uh, knight g5, threatening mate in one. Okay, interesting. Uh, he went I knight f6. Six. Okay. And now since I didn't take c8, I have this idea of coming back knight e4. Mm. Okay, but it's not like he can take on e4, right? Yeah, he took. Yeah, bishop, bishop takes, e4. Bishop takes. Is but this... yeah, this is already this is already unpleasant for black, like. F five is one normal move, but I don't think it works. Like F five, I can go bishop d three, queen v six, and e four. And here, I think white's already winning. Uh, I've taken bishop c four, and you can't defend that either. Mm -hmm. Right. So he his king side is weakened up because of this. But could he have not played g six? But g six, I can still play bishop d three. With the point that now after queen v6, I can go e4, bishop is trapped. Right. 
So you're trapping this bishop basically. That's the main problem for black. Yes, so we traded off the bishop. Queen dc4, no. Now, okay, he, he had to play g6. And of, now, yeah, white is better for sure because black's king side is weakened and also this knight c8, he isn't that well coordinated. Yes, but what sort of a move is this e3? I mean, you, I would imagine you going like queen h4, trying to do something, e3? Yes, I consider, yeah, e3, I mean, I consider queen h4, but h5, the problem is now I want to play g4, but e2 is hanging. That's why e3. So I just went e3, and also white has some other ideas in this position, including queen e5. And if instead of e3, if I went queen e5, I was worried that he would go knight v6. Knight, knight e4, knight d7, right? And then he defends this queen, correct. So by playing e3, I'm, I'm saying that I can still play queen e5 and had this other idea of queen h4. Mm. So now you have to decide what to defend. So you're keeping your options open. He played h6, and then you came yeah. back. F3. Five. It's interesting Nine. that you, you said a lot about calculation and this being your favorite game, but already the material is quite less on the board. Like already three pairs of minor pieces have been exchanged. Yeah. 95. 95, 97, and now we have four. First, now you attack this at six pawn. And the thing is, it's actually difficult to defend with black because you can't go king g7. Knight d7. Knight d7. Yeah. In, in the queen, queen f6. And you win this. Correct. Okay. So, and if king h7, also knight d7 is strong. Yes. So, you went knight f5? And yeah, around, yeah, I think this is the point where my calculation started. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try. I mean, first idea is, of course, to kick this away. And then take this yeah. one. So G4 was, of course, the first move I started calculating. Then Black will play G5. Right. Queen F3. Knight H4. Queen F6. Yeah, and now you're threatening to take here. Now uh, Queen D5. Ah, he's threatening a mate. Because F3 if he plays King H7 or something, no, Knight D7. Knight D7, attacking yeah. the rook and winning this pawn. So, so queen d5 is forced, yeah. f3, f3, king h7, yeah, knight takes f7. Oh, ah, okay, got it. Yeah, I was just uh, for a second, like I thought ah. if king gets a knight d7, is there queen d5, but knight f8, knight is a base check. Okay, queen d5, f3, king gets 7 yeah, knight takes f7, hmm. knight g6. I mean, the things don't end here, like. This knight, knight f7 is misplaced, and if black, black threat is e5. Right. So you, this you saw in the game. Yeah, and, and so e4 also. e4, the point is queen d7 or queen c4. I can play queen takes g6. Oof. Nice. And e5. Nice. And you win the queen. Even if yeah. the queen is here. Yeah. So, so e4, now the thing is black will play queen b5. Queen takes d6. And here I wasn't able to find anything because now after rook f8, rook a8, now, now you have to go back queen f6 and there's rook e7. Oh, oh my god. And you're losing. Yeah, okay, now queen f6, but you can play queen f5, but okay, it's not clear. Like queen f5, black can play queen b6 or something and queen c7 is a threat. I mean, this knight f7 is very misplaced. Like, this pin, it's, it's very difficult to get rid of. So, based on all these variations, I decided to play a4 first. Include this a4, queen f5. a4, queen f5. Queen f5, now g4. Okay. He has to play g5. Yeah. Queen f3, knight f4. It's all the same thing. Queen f6, queen d5, f3. King h7, knight f7, knight g6, e4. Now the difference is now since the b half square is taken away, if he goes queen a5, now I can play queen to c6. Okay, yet. And now since his queen is now on b5, I have queen b3. Oh my god. Nice. In, because of this, that's why I played a4. 
So the A4 move is actually the key move of this game, right? Yes, and of, and actually Queen A5 is one of his moves, but Queen A5 isn't the only move. Queen B3 is another move, which I saw. And that's which he play. played in the game. Yeah. He's taking now, advantage of that uh, A4 move. Yes. Now, this is a very strange position. This also now, you had calculated early on? Yes. Or? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me, I... let me just uh, try to get grips with this position. So, your knight is kind of pinned here. I want to get your queen out. Queen e6 is not possible. If you play rook a3 or something, he can take queen queen e2. And there's no way, but... right, for him to... Yes, oh, and black star is e5. But if, he, if he gets one more. Exactly. So, so, this is good enough to kind of give up your calculations, right, at this point. Yes, but then I realized this A4 also had a second purpose. Somewhere I have rook a3. Right, right. But so, this is hanging. Yeah, directly it doesn't work. So based on that, I put f4. Oh, man. Amazing. Okay. And now, now he can't you... play this because this now supports yeah, the knight. Now, yeah. So and if, f and if she takes f4, mm. now, rook a, now rook a3. Uh, and he cannot take with the knight because queen at 6. Six. Okay, so so G if G is a four, then rook a three. Okay, queen, queen is b two, rook h three, and this is made. <laughs> Can anyone think that this rook in three moves is going to deliver the checkmate? Nice one. Okay. So, so queen e three check is also what I saw. Mm. Now rook f two is forced because if you play king h one or king g two, then there's queen c four check. Right. So rook of two, g x of four. Now rook a three. Still, still your calculation, yeah, original. Yes. And okay. Queen, you want to check is first. Rook of one. Is it possible to take here? This side rook h three. I think it's so, over, right? Yeah. Check. Rook of one. No one checks. Mm. Okay, so queen e1. Rook f1. Yeah. Yeah, and here you played queen h4. But another move is queen e2. Right, because g4 but, is hanging. Yes, and this, there was some idea. I, was, I think I was thinking about knight g5, but this doesn't work. Because knight g5 idea, knight g5, h6, g5, rook h3, knight h4, queen takes g5, there's queen g2 made. Yes, of course. So after queen e2, I was planning to go rook f3. Rook a. Rook a f3. Hmm. And now my now this now since this g5 pawn has moved away, my next two moves are h4 h5. Okay. And there's no way there's no defense. He cannot get his rook in time to attack this knight. And the engine proves all of this. Wow. Rook c8. Let's assume h4. H5. H5. Nice. Nice. And you're in time to take this. And he, he doesn't have even a way of kind of activating his queen here. Yeah, I mean, it was. <laughs> you can't go back. Hmm. It's too oh, many. I, I was thinking queen c4 here. Queen is g6. Oh, no. Yeah, because the idea was h4, you have e5, maybe trying to hold on but again there's yeah. queen g6 but yeah here this is just over nice no so, what's nice is that you are also very sharp in the analysis you are you're remembering everything i mean you know these squares okay so queen even queen h4 okay let me I, I don't i have not seen the movie i want to i want to figure out how to make here how to win here Okay, so uh, if you exchange the queens, knight h4, that endgame is not so clear, right? Or maybe. maybe... That's why I did it. Sorry? I traded on h4 in the game. Ah, you traded, huh? That's the best move? Because of... Yes, because rook takes f4, there's a problem. Rook takes f4, you can play queen takes f6. Rook takes f6, king g7. Mm -hmm. Rook AF3, Knight H8. Oh, Knight H8. Spin. And you lose. Yes. 
So I wanted to get the same thing. So I played Queen XH4, Rook 90 XH4. And now maybe 95 is a little bit better for white, but okay. That's nothing much. Hmm. So you but now I, I saw that I can play Rook to 4 and now King G7, I have G5. That's the main point. Wow. wow. And I saw oh, all of this. Oh, okay. If he takes here, you can take That's with the knight. That's why he did. Oh, man. And... In, rook, in rook to 7, I have G takes H3. In King then... G, Rook G3. Oh, you have check and see. And if I play King F8, you will go Rook now, H3. Yeah, now I can just take the knight. Okay. So, at G, E2. Knight H5 and... Rook to 4 knight c6, and now it's just two pawns up, and okay, I was able to confront him. And you you won this. So, so uh, tell me, uh, this is the position, right? Uh, where you played a4. I saw all the way up to knight g5. What? One second. I can't believe it. So, this is, this is where move number 25 is when you played a4, correct? Yes. And you are saying that you saw all the way up to move 40. What? <laughs> Amazing. That is tremendous bit of calculation, Abhimanyu. Now yeah. I understand why this is your one of your best games. Because it's yeah. so subtle with this move A4. Plus there's a lot of calculation, a lot of traps. Rook comes out from A3 to H3. And all of this very nice. But a good thing was like half of the, like most of the moves were forced. That made it a lot easier because if you have if you have all this A4 kind of moves in the whole variation, it's very difficult to calculate. Correct, correct. No, but the thing is, you calculated the most natural line, then you saw what the problem is, and yes. then you found A4. I thought that some of the calculations were quite uh, tough, especially like uh, at this point. To see f4 i think this was not like very trivial because yeah. it's forcing kind of i mean it's difficult to miss such a move also queen e3 is there in that position there is gf4 so many different ideas beautiful game abhimanyu and uh, truly well deserved victory here as well thank you